Okay, it's one o'clock, so here we go. Thank you everyone for being here. And uh, just wanted to let you know that we do this every week, same time, same channel. Uh, one of my biggest frustrations is the fact that uh, there were over 100 people registered for the event, and I see a substantially lower number than that actually on the webinar, which is always confusing to me because I don't know what the heck is going on. But uh, there is one thing that uh, that's clear, which is the people that come on here obviously get a lot of information that's uh, usable, and so I'm hoping we can do that again today. Purpose of this is to work with my existing joint venture partners, of which there are a number of them, close to 10 now, and to help them resolve any issues that they have, which in turn will help you with your information marketing business. So with that said, I am now waiting. I know we had a couple of folks who are going to be on the call that aren't here yet, so I'll go ahead and sort of get started on my own here since they aren't with us yet. Um, I wanted to sort of alert you to a few things, which is one of my joint venture partners is Avish, and Avish's site is speakingexpert.com. And uh, we've been doing a lot of talking. I see that uh, we have Dave Hamilton joining us shortly. He can't hear me yet, but um, I'll talk to him. <coughs> Dave, I can hear you coughing. How are you? <laughs> hey, Fred. Um, yeah, so you and I are the only ones on at this point. So what, what I, one of the things I was doing is I was just showing people, as you can see, I, I was showing people Avisha's site there. And what's the latest on, it? can we show them your screen yet or what's, what's up there? Uh, the latest about what? Well, about the authority sites. Oh, um, well, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. But, Is it uh, ready for prime time? Can we show it to people? Uh, well, we can show them authority sites 101 for sure. Okay. 101.com. Okay, so uh, tell us what's been uh, going on here. Well, we've been uh, just refining the process of, uh, of building great looking sites for people very quickly. And we've got the technical side down to a science. And really the only, um, the only thing people need to do is, is organize their content. And most of it falls neatly into a line of, you know, a, a great looking welcome page, then an about, uh, a blog, products, things like that. But we have a form for them to fill out. It's right there on the site. And it's, it's funny, Fred, one of the, one of your clients for um, your and Bill's site contacted me and we walked through and she's organized her content, but I think we're going to have a site up, done, ready to go with shopping cart, autoresponders, everything, um, probably in about five to seven days. Got it. So with sort of <clears throat> in a week, certainly uh, in one week, you can have a good luck. You can have a good looking site. Yes, and that's that's with a professional banner designed to go along with it. Oh, be, by the way, remind me to tell you that. Uh, Kayla, my stepdaughter, has got some real artistic ability, and we were showing her some stuff, so she may be contributing to your design work. Hey, that's awesome. Yeah, that's she's, great. A, she's a pretty talented designer. So anyway, um, now, the one thing that we've been talking about ongoing on this call is something that, and I see Bill DeWeese is about to get on, so we'll uh, talk to him here in a second. So as soon as he as his audio becomes available, um, I will, Mr. DeWeese, can you hear me? Yeah. How you doing, Fred? Good. How are you? So I'm going to pull I'm up the site you. here. We've been talking to Dave. Uh, when is the new site design going to go live? Don't know. Okay. Hopefully this week. Oh, boy. Uh, Every day there's always something else I've got. I have to keep feeding information. I've got another email from Ermal that I've got to respond to, which won't happen until late tonight. So, uh, But the news, good news is all the backlinking is taking place and our, our rankings continue to move forward. So. Oh, really? So show me, uh, give me an example of a keyword here and we'll check it out. Okay. Well, voiceover training would be good. And by the way, I've got to leave in about two minutes. I've got two client projects doing the next hour, so I just want to give you a heads up. Hardest working man in the voiceover business. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you. Think yeah. twice. Uh, if you want to make a six-figure income in the voiceover business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. 
so now where are you here i don't see you on page one is it was it page two these should days? be page two okay so last i look was page two page two with the bullet yep right here it's uh i guess that's listing number 14. does that sound right so yeah it was 20 last i checked a couple days ago so moving up we're moving up good deal yeah good yeah stuff. okay so then uh, anything new to report on the uh voice over training front well yeah we've and uh, i don't know maybe dave's already mentioned this i see he's on but uh, dave's been working uh on the uh uh audiobooksuccess.com site which um we, where we will soon be launching a new product audiobook success can we take a look at what it is so far let's take yeah a look there. okay so tell us both of you or one of you about this and what what's going on here this the is an autoplay here the simplest yep. I whoops oh look at your face there bill it's like <laughs> scary huh <laughs> it's kind of scary. a voice for it's radio the most rolling into the back of my head yeah yeah um so now tell people again what what this is about this is taking your the videos from your audiobook seminar that you did in chicago and you've put it behind a paywall so that people have to pay to go see it correct Yes, sir. We've got seven videos on there. Got it. And uh, Dave, is there some secret special area that I can get past the paywall and show people what that looks like? Uh, yeah. You want if, to send uh, it to me in the chat window? Yeah, let me let me do that. I would, uh, where's the... So what we're doing, folks, is showing you what Dave has now done. The whole idea here is that for example, I just uh, somebody sent me out a sample of their product in the mail. It was eight DVDs. It took five days to get here, and it's big and bulky. Whereas with Bill, people can certainly order his DVDs and get them in the mail like that, but they can also get immediate immediate access to the material online. So, Bill, if you got to run, go ahead and run. I'll just stay on with Dave here. Okay, my apologies. It's just crazy here. Gotcha. Cool. I'll all talk right. to you soon. We'll talk to you already. Bye bye. Bye. That's because Bill's material actually works. So he's a working voiceover mm -hmm. artist. Yes. So uh, that which you gave me, which I now remember, do I go to slash members here? Yeah, if you click on the on the banner, I just haven't put the put the, the link. But yeah, you can just type members. Okay. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, for this purpose, I can put in the uh, username, right? Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and so I've typed that in. I'm going to remember the password, yes. And so now we're back behind the paywall. People would pay to get here. And so these yeah. are all the videos on the left-hand side, correct? That's correct. Just a quick stylistic thing, Dave. I would change yes. the color of this seminar videos. It's gray as well. I would make okay. it red or blue or maybe, maybe a, a deeper blue to match right above near Bill's first name here. Make it that color okay. because it blends too much for me. Yeah, no problem. No so problem. now That's I can click on any of these, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And again, this is something, well, I'll let you take a look at it. But uh, So people go there. They can now access the video and then make comments. And so let me click yeah. on it here. And I know he has a standard little thing that he does. So this is behind a paywall. And this is... This morning we spent uh, a lot of time talking about the industry, why it is the way it is, why the audiobook industry is good to be in, some of the, the foundational things technically. That audio and, kind of sucks. And I thought it was important to spend some time uh, it, about it's, the industry and the environment itself. So you understand yeah, it, it, it comes and goes. It, it has a lot to do with uh, the, his proximity to the microphone. When I first got into the voiceover business... Huh. But, uh, but, you, you know, know the, the, the whole... journal. Or a magazine the whole, per se. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Dave, hold on. Out there. Um, this quality of the audio there, for his business uh, oh is boy, not there good. There are a number of different websites that cater to the industry. This like is not good. He's got to change this. Is one .com voice over he'll he'll get people really unhappy with him. Uh, Dan Friedman's blog that we talked about. Try earlier, another video. I don't know if it's just that one. Because that, that, that's good. awful. I mean, you know, his material is great. But the, you see, he's got a lavalier on him, and that lava is not coming in for some reason. So yeah, I don't know what yeah. happened there, but man, we got to tell him about that because that something's not good there. Yeah. Make a little note to send him an email about that one. And I forget, that was bringing yourself to the script. I'm finding your niche. Yeah. Because there's a lot of different things that you can do. 
Again, I don't understand. Even stuff you do when you're young. And finally, I want you to uh, try to identify as best you can. Yeah, you know what? Something's going on here, and you've got to let him know because what I suspect is that this audio track was getting pulled from somewhere other than where it should be. Yeah, like his computer or that mic is too far away. I yeah, agree. I mean, this is, he had, you know, this is, now, this is a good example of where, and, and let me just put this in here as one of the issues, which is when you record a seminar or interview or other info product, make sure that you test all equipment multiple times in advance. Now the problem here is, and in his defense, is that uh, he was not he was not able to get someone. I think he used a student that he paid 150 bucks for. And this is why I, in the in the sort of in the long run, always like to I like to own to own and use my own equipment because of two reasons. Number one, you get to know it, and two, it's it's cheaper, and it's just, there's not a whole lot that can be bad about owning and using your own equipment. Now, when you first get started, obviously, you don't want to do this. It's a pretty big investment, um, but there's a bunch of stuff on my site, fredgleek.com, that'll show you, you know, what to get and how to get it and everything else. So, uh, anyway, for the purposes of our showing what Dave is doing for Bill, it's irrelevant, but I mean, the, the video obviously can be put behind, like for example, I just got, I have sitting in front of me as I sit here in my, in my room right now, I've got an eight DVD program sitting in front of me that the guy had to send out by mail. Instead, he could have done exactly what Dave has done for Bill here, which is to take each one of these components and to put them behind this, you know, this plat, this this paywall, as we call it, this area in which they have to pay to get in, and if yeah. they do that, then they get access to all these videos, or you can make it just one video, do anything you want. So the idea here is that it really, really shortens the time. The other thing is, and this is one thing, Dave, that I'm recommending that Elliot and Bill and all the other JV partners do is the following, which is they can pay, people can pay to get access to the site. And then they can pay to buy the DVDs or they can pay to get both because some people want to get the information right now, but they want to have the DVDs, you know, right there with them for later. So I would give people three options, either just watch it now online. That's number one. Number two, just get the DVDs by mail or number three, get all of those options. Agreed. Agreed. And I'm finding more and more people that have... You know, there's seminars going on all over the place. There's people with recordings from either audio or video, and you know, nobody knows what to do with it. Nobody knows how to package it or sell it. And you know, this is just an easy way to do it. And you know, the other thing I emailed you about that I think on the last webinar or since then, um, you you sparked the idea about the automatic. Kanaki delivery. Yeah. And Kanaki for listeners, that's the, 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 the company that will you upload D V D or C D graphics and the content and they will package, print, and deliver uh, incredibly professional for a dollar per D V D. I mean just insane prices. Well here are the prices. So, Let's take a look. The prices are if you get, this is for one, let's go to DVD here, if you can see this. For yeah. one DVD, one quantity state, let's put in Nevada, since I'm out here, and that's far from where they are, I think, in Brooklyn. And one Nevada zip code, I'll put my zip, 89012. Uh, show invoice with shipping. Okay, so it costs you $1 for the production of the DVD, which includes the DVD with a case, and I could change it, make a DVD case, Show invoice as well. It's going to be it's going to be the same price, I believe. So it's yeah. it's literally the DVD, the DVD case with the artwork, four color art, with the DVD inside, with the artwork printed onto the DVD itself, and all of that costs a buck. The four five dollars and thirty cents you see here is for the product and shipping. So 
the bulk of your cost is in shipping here, but they do that now. The, the interesting thing to me, watch this, everybody. This is, this is nuts to me. The only thing I'm going to change here is the quantity. I'm going to go from 1 to 10. Now, right now, remember, the unit cost per DVD is a dollar. Look at that right here. Watch what happens when I do this. It's crazy. So now the unit cost went to $1.60. So I don't know what kind of business model they're using, but the more <laughs> units you buy, the greater the cost per unit. It's crazy, but they're basically discouraging big orders. I mean, this to yeah. me is, you know, I don't know what's going on, but, but anyway, it makes it, you know, really easy, if, especially if you're just starting out and you're doing limited quantities. So go to Kanaki.com. But one of the things that Dave is trying to do is, go ahead, Dave. Is, well, is automate that process too. Meaning somebody comes to your website, clicks the buy link, and they want a DVD shipped to them. Um, well, currently, you have to manually get that and either put a DVD in an envelope and go to the post office and send it, or you have to go log into Kanaki, type in their address and contact information, everything, and they'll ship it out. What I want to do is bridge that where they click a buy link, they say they want the physical DVD, they pay, and then uh, you sitting on your couch get a notification that Joe Smith ordered a DVD and Kanaki received it. It's being shipped out in two days. Okay, so how close are we to making that happen? Uh, I'll be honest. I I just I need a guinea pig. I I'm trying to. No, nobody has a, a Kanaki product ready. Uh, Avish, I, I would be testing it now. Avish, you're on the you're on the system now. Can you hear me? Yep, yeah, I can hear you. Uh, okay, can you be a guinea pig? I don't have anything on my Kanaki yet. Okay, now so, let's explain to people who are watching this what Kanaki is. Kanaki is in the business of duplicating DVDs and mailing them out. DVDs and CDs. And they do it really cheap, and they will make it so that you can get custom artwork, et cetera, et cetera. So go to this site at Kanaki.com, frequent questions, and take a look. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that they're, they're not set up for anybody who wants good customer service, but wants it cheap. So take a look at all their FAQs. I love this. Kanaki, what is bad about Kanaki? Kanaki is not for everyone. Kanaki operates more like a machine than a business and does not offer a personalized service. We don't engage... In active marketing, sales, or public relations, we never offer discounts or special deals. We don't offer affiliate or partner programs. The Kanaki machine is operated and managed by software rather, software rather than a management team. So if you're looking for high-end, uh, you know, touchy-feely stuff, this is not for you. If you're looking for cheap duplication and shipping of DVDs and CDs, Kanaki is the one. So, Dave, explain to people why you're looking for a guinea pig. So why... You know, does Dave need Dave need a giddy? Well, well, honestly, because I I want to show people how awesome this is, but I don't want to create a dummy product. I mean, I, I'm about to. I'm about to create one for for my dad or for myself or whatever, just to show people how it would work. But the the like you said, Kanaki is not easy to work with. I mean, there's no customer service. And the integration is tricky, but once it's done, it's done. And you don't have to touch it. And then you talk about four-hour work week where you don't have to lift a finger. Literally, Fred, and this is, this is no joke. That thing that I showed you with Bill, that uh, seminar he recorded. Yep. He, he gave me the video. Or he, he, you know, he had the video produced, uh, you know, edited and whatnot. Um, but in one day, he said, Dave, I got all these video files. What do I do with it? And I said, okay. And in like 48 hours, we had that site done. And it was connected with his one shopping cart where the web marketing magic, where people could buy and get access just like that. So he could market to his list instantly. Right. Well, the next step is give me the videos on a DVD. We, and if he just provided this to me, I did some, I showed you the, the DVD graphics, didn't I? Um, I think you did, yes. Do you have it, those sitting around? It was, around? you know, like a blue with a microphone. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so it, you know, it's ready to upload and get in an automatic system where people could, um, people could have an automated system where people are able to watch it instantly 
are able to have a DVD shipped to them or both, like you said. So um, it's going to be big. And, and after a while, I won't eat guinea pigs because we'll have a portfolio and, you know, this is a service we'll offer people. But um, So how, right do, how now, do people contact you if they want to be a guinea pig? So Dave at, at Dave, WM Magician? Dave at WMMagician.com. Okay, well, before I get to Avish, put you on hold for a second, Dave. I wanted to show everybody, uh, we launched uh, last night a program uh, with Bill O'Hanlon, and here it is, therapyaudiodigest.com launched. This launched last night, and the whole idea here is we have a, a monthly audio summary for psychotherapists. We launched this last night. The cost, and this is sort of something I want to share with the group here. The cost of membership, they basically get a 30 minute member, 30 to 35 minute, say 30 minute, 30 minute audio for download or consuming online every month for either as a charter member, we set them up. Charter member means that. They get this price because you know they're just first getting on board. So nine dollars and ninety-five cents per month, and uh, so that's the charter membership rate. Then we're going to have sort of some kind of an, an intermediate rate, uh, early, early adopter rate, or whatever we're going to call it, and that's going to go for fourteen ninety-five. And then we're going to have the sort of the standard or the regular rate for nineteen ninety-five. I can say that, uh, first off, uh, Bill is a fairly well-known entity in that business, in the psychotherapy field. And if you click on free sample issue, it shows you exactly what it looks like. Here is this, you know, click here to listen, and you can hear it. And then you can start your subscription and subscribe. And here's a transcript. And every month, they're going to be able to get to this. And in doing so, look at this. Oh, we already got comments. Great. Um, excellent. I better submit a comment here. Yeah, eight comments so far. Thanks so much, Bill. Blah blah blah. Uh, blah blah blah. It, there's lots of great stuff going on here. And as of last time I spoke to Bill about an hour ago, we're up to 150 members, and wow. our goal is 10,000 by the end of 2012. And our long-term end game is the sale of this entity for 10 million bucks and let me just show you some numbers here that's our goal um, and because Bill's a rock star in the industry we figure we'll get to 500 charter members within the next I don't know within the next seven days and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up but if you think about it, if if we have 10,000 members, right, and let's say, since we have a lot of different pricing, but let's just make it easy and say that our average price comes out to $15 per member after we give away some commission or whatever. So we're looking at, what is that, 150000 per month uh, gross revenue. And that's a lot of money. So, I mean, but that, I mean, we really, our next step here, here's what we're going to be doing is we're going to open this up to affiliates just a few that are really, and, and one of the reasons why we're going to open this up to affiliates is a couple things. Number one, there's a woman that, that would, would have been our strongest competitor who Bill knows pretty well. So we're going to, we're going to recruit, we're going to recruit our strongest possible competition and make them a collaborator. Good move. That's number one. Um, and then, so what's going to happen is, We'll have just a whole boatload of people signed up for this thing. You know, somebody might try and compete, but we're going to do it better than they do. We're going to make the process easy. But the whole thing is, is in order to dominate the market, we're coming in with overwhelming force, and we're going to try and get up to 10,000 members as soon as we possibly can. So we're going to, we're going to then, after we go out, you know, using this three-tiered method here of a charter membership, an early adopter, and a standard, at, at the standard really is the point that we wanted to give away affiliate commission. Because then we're basically making at least ten bucks, ten bucks per member for us, 
you know, that's that's our that's our sort of a low end number. So the charter membership's nine ninety five, about ten bucks a month, and hopefully when we start getting affiliates in, we're going to do it nineteen ninety five, so that if we give away fifty percent commission, we're going to keep ten percent for ourselves. I mean, five fifty uh, percent for ourselves, so it would be ten bucks per member. So the lowest the lowest we ever want to make per member is ten bucks, um, and so it's looking good. The launch went off really well. <clears throat> Bill has about. I mean, I don't know how many people he mailed that off to, but one of the things that we're going to do is also make sure and tell all those people who got in early. Number one, charter members will never pay more than nine ninety five as long as they don't let their subscription lapse. <clears throat> as soon as they do, now they have to come in as a standard member at nineteen ninety five. So that's that's our sort of our model here. We have it all set up, and by the way, Dave was the one who set up the uh, the site. So if you guys are looking for something similar, Dave is the guy that can do that. If we go back here to the main page, uh, it's a video and it's a sales page. And when you get down to the bottom, it says, hey, do you want a free sample issue? It also lists the, the CE credits fine print here, et cetera, et cetera. So this is well done by Dave. Dave, thank you very much for that. My pleasure. And um, so the nice thing here is that Again, the reason why I think this can be successful is that, number one, we have the process down. Number two, we have the person, which is Bill O'Hanlon. And Bill is a rock star in the, uh, in the industry, in the psychotherapy field. So if you have a combination of you having the process down well and you have somebody's rock star, this could be what happens. Now, these are my goals. I will let everyone know exactly what our numbers are and how we're doing here. But right now we have 150 members, and we just, you know, we just started less than 24 hours ago. So I, I do not think it's too optimistic, given the fact that there are one million people who call themselves therapists or psychotherapists or thereabouts. So I don't think it's going to be difficult to try and get what is 10,000, that is, is that 1% penetration or less? 1%. Is that 1%? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to be difficult for us to get to 1% uh, penetration until the year, you know, by the year 2012, using a combination of different tactics. And every time we do one of these webinars, I'll give you some, or, you know, maybe every month or so, I'll give you some, some updates as to what this is. Now, by the way, just in case every, anyone is wondering, um, it's no secret that the split here is 45% for me, 45% for Bill, and 10% for Bill DeWeese, because he is the voice, and he was just on the call earlier but had to get off, for those of you who were on didn't hear him. He's the voice of the thing, and he's the producer. So when you go to the free sample issue and you click on Let Me Hear It Now, you're hearing Bill's voice, which sounds great and very professional. Therapy Audio Digest, a monthly audio magazine for psychotherapists and people interested in psychotherapy. There you have it. So that's Bill doing his thing. So that's the way we're splitting up the pie. Um, Bill's the producer, and he's the voice, and he does all that stuff. He's also the person who ends up uploading the CDs because we're giving people in this market the option to either <clears throat> just get it online as a downloadable audio or to also have the option to get the physical CD. Our cost from Kanaki is coming out to about, you know, we said, you know, let's say it comes out the highest price might maybe, maybe six fifty, perhaps. It's probably less. So we're charging people, I think, I think what we came up with, maybe we maybe it's five forty and we came up with six fifty as a price. Either six fifty or 750 is what we're charging people who want the physical CD. And it is my guess, given this market, my guess is that, you know, I would say 20% or more will want the physical CD. So that's a little bit about that project um, and a little bit about what we're doing there. I think that this will be instructive for all of the other people listening and watching this, as well as the other JV partners. Uh, one of the reasons why this works is that Bill is a rock star in that industry. So that when you say, if you come up to someone in the psychotherapy field and you ask them, do you know Bill O'Hanlon and who he is? Probably, I would say 70% of the people would say yes. 
the other 30 percent are probably have been hiding under a rock or not doing their homework. So that's that's one of the things that helps make this work. So um, Avish, Dave, do you have any questions for me on this? No, I, I'm congratulations on the launch. That's uh, that's, a, that's a great start. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a great start. So 150 people in under 24 hours. Obviously, we're having some issues in terms of there were some little, but they aren't big. They're little things, and uh, we're also one of the things that we're doing. And Dave, I don't know if Bill's contacted you on this. Is I'm going to set up a separate uh, PayPal account for the entity, which is uh, Therapy Audio Digest Incorporated, and set them up so people can order either using Web Marketing Magic or they can order using PayPal. The only problem is when they order using PayPal, we obviously do not. We have not added them to our mailing list automatically using Web Marketing Magic. Right. Although, right. is there a script to do that, perhaps? Uh, well, not, not exactly, but the, the here's the thing: people are going to want to be on your list yep. to get notified of new issues. Right. So you could easily have an opt-in if if they buy with PayPal, just say, "Hey, enter here. We'll let you know when the next issue is out." So again, repeat that so I understand it. So if somebody pays via PayPal, I want to make sure and get them onto my list on Web Marketing Magic. So how do I do that? Uh, you, you just uh, um, well, actually, if if you if they have to go through your Web Marketing Magic and just pay via PayPal, right? Um, I thought that we might be setting up a separate just PayPal button. I see. I see. Well, in that case. I, I would just say to, to include an opt-in, you know, an inconspicuous opt-in, but say make sure you're on our list so you get notified of new issues and other bonuses we give you. Okay. So we have to have an opt-in form somewhere, and where can that show up? I mean, once they make a payment with PayPal, where are they directed to? Can we determine that location where they have to go next? Absolutely. Well, well actually, since this is a wish list based site, they will um, they will be directed to you know that login where you create your username and password. Yep. So they'll be directed there to create a username and password. Can we put and, can we put anything else on that on that screen or is that protected? Uh, it's protected, but the, you you can control the, the next page, which can be an opt in. So then so after can, they create. A username and password. Correct. Correct. So after username and password is created, the next screen, the next screen uh, asks them to opt in. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So then we'd say to them, "Hey, hey, that's great, but since you paid by PayPal, we want to make sure and keep you on the board." Blah blah blah. Here's here's what you do. Yeah, but it, 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 you know that's good to, to notify them to keep them interested so they don't cancel. But you know you you already got them on a recurring payment, which is kind of the goal. So um, yeah, I know that. I just want to make sure that we've got them on the recurring payment. But if we wanted to send out a blast to our email list, if they came in through the PayPal door, we don't have them yet, do we? Yeah. Well, <laughs> interestingly, uh, you wish list keeps its own email list. So you, you could technically send a blast through wish list. Now, it, that's kind of getting a little convoluted, but uh, there's lots of options. The best one is just to have a quick opt-in and let them, let them join that way. Okay. Avish, any questions? Any thoughts on this? Oh, well, I had a, on the audio digest in general, I had a, a, a thought and a question. Okay. Uh, the thought is, I think the third piece that really made this go, which I don't think you mentioned, is that you, you and Bill really identified a key problem that like all therapists have. Um, you're solving a real issue, which is that they just get inundated with journals that are supposed to stay on top of them, and they're not trying to do it. So I think when you add that third component to the process you guys have, and Bill is a rock star, that's when it becomes a no-brainer. Um, yeah. So in other words, what you're saying is, in addition to Bill being the rock star, we you know we know the process and how to do this, and we have people that we can go to like Dave to help us. We also identified a key problem in the industry. Are you saying that? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, yeah I, th I think you're right. Which is we found an area where people are are hurting, which is that therapists as a group uh, feel in a lot of pain uh, because they can't get to the reading that they're supposed to do. They feel guilty. 
they feel whatever. And the other thing is, one of the real other key benefits here is the CE credits. So in other words, yeah. all of these professions need to get a certain amount of continuing education credits, and we're providing them with a super easy way to do that. Now, they can't just sign up. I believe they have to take a quick test on the material to ensure that they just don't sign up and not and don't read it and get CE credits. I think we have to do that. I'm not sure, but we did hook up with a guy who is in charge of issuing the CE credits, and so you know he's in charge. So all all I you know all I care about, and, and again, Bill and I are divvying up the work involved in this. But I got to be honest, he's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. He's the rock star. I know the process, and I'm helping him, but he knows some of the process as well. But uh, I, you know the other reason why I'm getting 45 percent of this. Is I came up with the idea, so you know that that has some that has some value apparently, um, and so but this is a good model for people who are looking to do something like this. You know what what you have to ask yourself with information products is you know everybody and their brother and and I'm sure Avish Dave you guys know about this. Everybody in the information marketing business has spent their time over the last year year and a half saying sell only high priced products to to which i say baloney it it you know that is, certainly you should offer high priced products but to sell only high priced products ridiculous absurd in certain industries like this this makes a lot of sense because if you think about it what, let's assume that we get up to let's say we have 8000 members at the moment okay if we had 8000 members and, um, and somebody came to us who had a great program in the psychotherapy field that was offering a 50% commission on a $200 product, so we'd make $100 on every sale. And let's say we got, you know, 563 people to sign up for that and made an additional $56,000 off our list. I mean, how did we get them in there to begin with? We got them in there with a $9.95 or $14.95 or at most a $20 a month product. Now, by the way, we are going to offer people the ability to pay it all at once. So pay us a year in advance and they get a little bit of a discount. So I just think it's crazy when people think that you should only sell high priced products because frankly, um, it, it, it isn't always true that that works. Well, sorry, could I comment on that? Sure. I, 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 I agree with you. you. This, these, these are small little, you know, $10 bursts, but the, the, the the glue of it all is the membership model. Like, if you did nothing but sell ten dollar ebooks and that was your whole model, that's hard because you got to draw up new clients. But you know, what's the value of one customer? It's hundreds of dollars. You know, after you find out how long they're going to stick around. So, you guys are putting together a one page site once a month. It's great content, but you do it once and you sell to each of these people one time and they stick with you forever. Yeah, and that's, that's what we're intending to do is to make the price so affordable that it's a no-brainer for them to want to do this. Plus, they get those CE credits, which, by the way, I think in the psychotherapy field, depending on what you do, I think there might be either 30 or 40 CE credits needed each month, or needed each year, I think. Credits, it's, it's giving me the French version here. Come on. <laughs> um, my, my, Mac, my Mac computer is so international. Uh, <laughs> So 30 to 40 C credits needed each year. And so we're providing them. This gives them, I think they get a half for each. So they get six from this. So if you're thinking about it, you know, you just go, oh, man, that'll make it easy. Because if I go to, if I get Bill and Fred's thing, and that's only going to cost me this much, and then I can go to this seminar and that seminar, I'm done for the year. That's how they're thinking about it. Uh, and, and this same model could be applied, picked up. And, and duplicated in so many different fields. It could. The reason, uh, excuse me, the reason why I think it's so effective here is there are a lot of people that really are hurting when it comes to, you know, feeling this guilt associated with not staying up with their profession. But if you think about it, that probably applies to a number of other professions as well. And we, yeah. by the way, once this goes and goes well, uh, Bill and I certainly are going to be looking for other places to, uh, to put ourselves into the mix here. Yeah, that's, I see that's that, great. Have issue there still? Yeah, I'm here. I see that Bill might be re-entering the fold here. Bill DeWeese. Uh -huh. Oh, William DeWeese is back. 
I am not only the hardest working man of voiceovers, I'm the fastest working man of voiceovers. <laughs> that's what your wife said, but that's all others. Um, the, um, <laughs> um, I couldn't oh. help it. I just had to go. Rim shot. We, by the way, we did highlight your wonderful voice here, and I was just telling people, um, I don't know, if did you get the word from Bill O'Hanlon in terms of how many people signed up? Uh, I did. The, 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 like, like after, like, like within the first hour, it was like 50, something, something like that. that. We now are over 150. Are, are you kidding, kidding me? Yeah, and we're on. We we think our 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 very very safe goal is ten thousand members by the end of twenty twelve. So that's, that's a safe goal. goal? Yeah, yeah. I, I that's amazing. Say, yeah, and so that means I was just telling I people it. I was giving people the split forty five forty five ten, and you know I was telling them that you know Bill was uh, his job was production Kanaki and all this stuff, and so uh, you know this this is looking pretty good for you as well right now. I, I guess, guess. I mean, even now, it's it's, it's pretty, pretty thrilling. thrilling. Yeah, I mean, even you know, even at two hundred members, you know, at let's just say they're paying fifteen bucks a piece, that's three grand. You know, that's three hundred dollars automatic money for you. What are they? Is that is that with the monthly? Um, the monthly membership, as I just went over for other people, just real briefly, what I'll tell you is there's a charter member at nine ninety five, nine dollars and ninety five cents, maximum of five hundred members at that price. Then it goes to fourteen ninety five for what we call early adopters, and that might go maybe up to I don't know a thousand or fifteen hundred, maybe right. as far as two thousand. Then we're going to go to nineteen ninety five, and that's when we're going to start to open it up for affiliates as well. So, you know, I see. So now I'm figuring that the average member, when everything is all said and done, will be paying somewhere around fifteen bucks per month average across the board. Nice. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you take fifteen. I was just doing the math earlier. If you take fifteen per month and multiply that by ten thousand, you got one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in gross revenue coming in monthly. Wow. And one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in gross revenue. Let's say our net on that is a whopping fourteen eighty or something like that, because because it's not there not a whole lot of expenses. But let's say it's okay. Let's say we have two grand of expenses a month. So so now your cut is going to be thirteen thousand when we get there. That's that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a lot, lot of zeros for one month. month. Yeah, that'll make it easier to sort of ease out of doing a lot of voiceovers till three in the morning, won't it? Oh, uh, let, let me tell, tell you what, I'm, my fingers are crossed and I'm praying, praying every day. day. Yeah, now hmm. the thing is, I don't want to misrepresent here, folks. I have no idea what our actual numbers will be. I have no idea. This are the These are the hopeful figures, which we, again, do not know for certain. So don't let me misrepresent and tell anyone that I'm 1,000% certain that Bill is going to be living off the hog as a result of like going into the studio for two minutes every month because of my brilliant idea. No, that's not the case, folks. Uh, just no, I'm a little under-exaggerated, under <laughs> but, 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 I, but, I, but I hear what you're saying. saying. Yeah, no, but the whole idea is I think it's, I didn't think it's just great because let's be honest, the real, the real, you know, the real hero here is Bill O'Hanlon, who has the rock star status in the industry that all of us are basically leeching off of. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't mind leeching as long as it's done professionally. <laughs> so, um, so the other thing is that Avish and I are in the process right now. And, uh, and, and this is something that I spoke with you a little bit about as well, uh, Bill, which is we're putting together some other tools here. And one of them is, uh, I just interviewed, it's going to be going up on my site shortly, I don't think it's there yet, an interview with a guy named Joshua Talent, who has a site called KindleFormatting.com. Uh, because the, the line that I always use is this, and this everybody should understand this, which is, if you find traffic, and again, this is in the internet sense, jump in <laughs> front of it. I don't want to start having people jump onto interstates on my behalf there. So <laughs> if you find traffic, I should say here, maybe let's put that in here, online. Jump in front of it. So one of the places where traffic is starting to get pretty heavy is on the Kindle site. Uh, because a lot of people are starting to buy uh, a lot of things via ebook. And I would, you know, I talked to somebody yesterday in Costco. I was in there just grousing around uh, looking at stuff. And also, by the way, I go to Costco because all of you who don't know me should know this, which is I love to make money, I hate to spend it, and Costco does every day have the dollar and fifty cent hot dog special. 
which includes not only a very tasty hot dog, but it also includes a sort of an endless drink, an unlimited refill drink. So now that to me is how you really make money, is understanding both the revenue and the expense side of the equation. Anyway, I digress. In Costco, um, in Costco, I was talking to this woman and she was saying, oh, you know, blah, 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 I should get this for my son. I said, well, I said, do you have a Kindle yet? She goes, no, no, but I've been thinking about that. And I said, well, you know, I mean, are you going to, yeah, she says, hey, I'm going on vacation. I said, well, are you going to put a whole lot of books in your, in your suitcase or in your carry-on? She says, yeah. I said, well, it's probably going to get heavy, right? She goes, yeah. I said, well, this would make it really easy because you can put 3,000 books on the Kindle. And she says, wow, that's great. Well, as it turns out, the numbers from Amazon, um, I, I'm t I told her that in five years, five years from now, I think starting in 2017, um, it's going to be, I think it'll be 80% ebooks, 20% physical books. So mm. I, I, I think that in five years, ebooks are going to be sort of ruling the world because nobody wants to be running around with big, thick books. Now, will there be certain certain kinds of books that you want to buy that way? Absolutely. You want to put a book on your coffee table that's got some beautiful pictures. You know, you can't do that with a Kindle. Um, they may have some kind of a device by then. Could you imagine buying a, uh, a glass coffee table where the book is built into the glass top? Nice. That would be cool. Um, and so, I, but I just think, I think that by 2017 in, in, in five years time, so, so what we're thinking about there is, okay, if there's traffic and we want to jump in front of it, Avish and I are putting together the first of a total of, I think, nine sections, right, Avish? I think, I think it's like nine, nine, yeah. Okay, so nine total sections to a book called, what are we calling it? 101 or whatever, 1,001, 101. Well, yeah, the whole book is like public speaking tips, 101 public speaking tips. Yeah, I, something like that. Public speaking tips is kind of the keyword we're going after. You got it. So public speaking tips is what we're going after. And if they're 101, they're broken up into different categories. Categories like which ones, Avish? Uh, writing your speech, uh, dealing with speaking anxiety, delivering your speech, humor, storytelling. By the way, that thing that I sent you via email, was that usable without too much, uh, too much messing around? Yeah, yeah I, I just kind of skimmed it over and looked that closely. Yeah, it looked pretty, pretty much fine, fine the way it was. Now, what we're doing here, folks, just so you know, the reason why we're talking about this is rather than putting out just one Kindle book called 101 Public Speaking Tips, we're going to come up with nine different, different e-books. And you're going, oh my God, isn't that not very much information? Well, listen to what I have to say here first. So nine different ebooks. First off, let me give you the price. Our price point is going to be 99 cents. And so people, instead of buying a book, let's say we were to charge, you know, 9.99 for this or whatever, we're now breaking it up into nine different ebooks, which they can buy things by these sections. So that people, and maybe what we should also do, Avisha, I was just thinking about this, give people the option to buy the whole thing, the whole book, at, of course, the magical price of seven seventy-seven, dollars um, or something like that. So that maybe what we can do is give people, you know, there'll be 11 or 10 books offered. Nine are the individual books, and the 10th one is the whole thing all at once. I think you can do that in Kindle. I also asked the question to Joshua the other day, or was it yesterday, I think. I asked Joshua Talent, who's got KindleFormatting.com, I asked him if Kindle allows you to put two different ebooks up that are exactly the same content but have two different names. And that was for the purpose of trying to understand whether or not you could do title testing directly on the Kindle site. I don't know the answer to that yet. I think the answer is yes. But I think that it's possible since these nine different ebooks will consist of smaller portions of this 101 public speaking tips that it's possible for us to do that. So, Avish, any thoughts? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's great. I don't know how to do the, uh, the whole book option yet, but I'm sure once we kind of get around the uh, well, uh, Kindle dashboard and see how to do that. Do me a favor. Remember, and this is something that, this is a universal tip for everyone on here, and, and, and Bill DeWeese knows because I've been beating the drum on this for a long time with him. Whenever you figure out or you are in the process of figuring out how to do something, start your screen recording tool so that you capture how to do 
what it is you end up doing so that you can then package it and sell it to other people. So Avish, turn on screen capture when you're starting to find out how to use the Kindle dashboard because that knowledge and information, because let me tell you, the folks at Amazon and Kindle, they're on to a great idea, but the instructions for how to use their stuff is pitiful. It's awful. Yeah. So turn on the screen capture, and, and Bill DeWeese, you can weigh in on this too. How, how excited have people been about what you're doing with your material? Bill is silent. Oh, the, when, you, when you say material, material, are you talking specifically, specifically about, about one of the programs, programs or about? Yeah, just about the, the, the programs or the videos that you do for people where you record screen stuff. Well, how, what's the feedback been? Oh, oh no, it's it's been, been incredible. incredible. I jeez, I every day. I mean, yesterday I got this amazing email from this guy who said, you know, he's gone through literally. He said 300 videos pertaining to voiceovers in the past nine days, and you know, he was saying how mine were by far the best and most helpful, and he appreciated it and blah blah blah. But I get that kind of feedback on a regular basis. So people love that kind of stuff. Now, when you get that, Bill, I know you're a little bit hesitant to do this. Um, you know, just write him back and say, hey, do you mind me using this quote on my site? I'll give you credit. Where do you want me to send them to once they see it? Capture yeah, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good, because, I mean, I want to see tons and tons of testimonials on that, you know, on the new site that will be up one of right. these weeks. One of these nice days. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, used I used to say, say this week, this week, so I just quit answering now. now I know. <laughs> I know. But at least... The nice thing is, is that the backlinks that, that you're having being worked on for the site are working to move the site up regardless of what it looks like, correct? Right. Yes, yes it, it is. is. And the amazing thing, thing and I shared this with Fred uh, the other day, but we actually sold two products in a day, which had, like never, never happened before from people who had opted in. So that was like that was like a, a huge deal You know what? Let's, let's brag a little bit on you for a second because this is really interesting. How many total people do you have on your opt-in list now? 330? About 330. Okay. And out of that number, how many, how many have bought something? Yeah, yeah we, we, I, you know, I wish I had an exact number. It's around 30 or maybe a little more. Let's say it's 33. So 10% of all the people that have opted in to Bill's list have bought something from him. That number, let me just tell you, Bill, is phenomenal. Avish, any comments? Yay. Oh, yeah, that's... that's... That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's just a matter of increasing the number. You get 3,300 people, uh, and then, then it's just the numbers again. That's fun. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you, Bill, we're sitting on a gold mine here as well. So in addition to all the big fat checks you're going to get from Therapy Audio Digest, you're going to get your own checks and send me some. From, uh, yeah, that's right. And I'm excited about what Dave Hamilton's doing. These sites look great, and we're getting ready to launch, and it's going to be awesome. Excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad, and I'm, I'm excited for everyone in the group because there certainly is plenty, plenty, plenty of good ideas, and there's no, sh no shortage of that here going on. So, you know what? We're right about close to the top of the hour. If anybody has any final thoughts, Dave, do you have anything final to say? No. I, I, Fred, I got the first email from the... A guinea pig. pig. So uh, next, next week, week I should, should be able to show you a, a working, fully integrated Kanaki system. <laughs>